Okay, it looks like we're streaming live on Facebook. Good, good um, from my side, good evening, Ivanka. I said Ivana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting it up. Well, not a good start. Um, I understand at the moment you're uh, in Croatia. Yes, exactly. So, I'm in Croatia. Our time zones are close. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. Uh, my business is in the United States, but I do live uh, currently in the Croatia. Yeah. Yeah. So I just want to tell the audience as they're popping in. Um, I met Ivana on a group coaching program, super intensive one <laughs> yeah. that we are both on, and um, have kept touch and. Frankly, I just am very impressed with what Ivana is doing for other coaches and for people that want to sell high ticket offers. And I invited her to come and uh, do an interview live on my Facebook. So once again, just very welcome. And thank you so much for doing it, Ivana. Thank you, SJ, for inviting me. It's my pleasure. So it's always difficult to tell what somebody does when they're a business coach. So in your words, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Yeah, okay, definitely, definitely. So uh, I've been in digital marketing or a, a digital entrepreneur since 2007. I started at the end of 2007, and I've done quite a bit on my journey. Uh, but what I always like to do is build businesses. So it's not all about make money online. It's how you build something into a business, right? So uh, because of that mindset, uh, whenever I focus on something that, you know, sometimes you just need an idea and something you really want to do, and then you focus on it and start going in that direction, right? And that's often where coaching programs can come in place. They help you really like zoom in on what is it that you want to do and you follow one program and you move along with it, right? So when I initially started, uh, I, you know, as some people and myself too, I did hire some coaches that didn't really help me at all. Um, I can't even blame them. I can only blame myself for that because, uh, you know, I should have done a better research probably at that point, but I was like, you know, they sold me on it and <laughs> I just wanted a quick fix probably. And I wasn't uh, uh, um, experienced enough at the time. Uh, but I didn't give up on coaches, though, because of that. And um, I have hired many after that who have helped me get on the road that I wanted to be on. And um, having had all of that experience and actually having coached many people throughout the years because of all the experience I've had, I just decided that it was time to, you know, really, like, put that into a business. Now, some of the successes I've had uh, prior to getting into online world, I was a very successful realtor, even though I was very young at the time, 21. By the age of 22, I was actually one of the top producers in the office. And most people said there was no way I was going to make it because I was so young. And that's very competitive type of market, oh, right? Yeah, so I did very well there. But obviously, you know, I got married and had kids and that did not help uh, in terms of like the hours, you know, that I had to work when I wanted to be with my family, I had to be with clients and just like I needed a way to get out of that. So, uh, you know, online type of e selling on eBay affiliate marketing that caught my eye and that's the direction I went in. But uh, at that time, it was extremely easy to rank on uh, for keywords on, um, you know, Google. And uh, it wasn't as complicated or time consuming as it is now where you have to wait. Um, but because I was so good at it, I was ranking for my affiliate websites and things like that. People started hiring me to do SEO for them. Um, okay. And yeah, so I built a, a recurring type of business from that. Um, so it was like powerful, you know, like all I had to do is have uh, two people, a team uh, and me and my partner and we just, you know, ran it and it was pretty good. Um, and then obviously Google did all types of changes. So I had a business crash on me and I was searching for something else. Now, a good thing for me was that I was building an email list. I had a very simple funnel in place, which is something you have to do. Um, and by the way, that, uh, it, that was a hundred K a year business. We built it with pretty much free traffic. We did not uh, uh, invest in like paid advertising and things. We tried it, you know, here and there, just see if we can boost our uh, uh, sales, you know, but yeah, that did not happen. So um, having that, yeah. 
so having done all of that um, and developing these funnels and having that knowledge um, and throughout the years, we were teaching people like putting little uh, uh, courses together just to show people how to do some things. And that was just extra little boost of uh, money. Well, I decided, well, why not take that to the next level and really launch like the big time. Um, so I started launching these uh, low ticket uh, offers in the marketplace. Maybe you're familiar with it, Water Plus and JV Zoom. So um, my first launch did like 42K in like seven days. So it was like really powerful. I had no idea you can do such massive numbers in like, <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, I ended up getting a, a, a partner to work with me. He was experienced at it. And that has kind of like, you know, developing these skills, uh, even copywriting skills, developing my, uh, you know, funnel building skills, um, you know, how to set up all of these things that has been basically my main business over the past seven years. And that is what I teach people now. I coach them on how to set up basically one funnel and how to get the leads uh, coming in. So the funnel, I call it funnel engine because the engine ends up doing the work for you then. Um, so once it's set up, it just works, right? Oh, awesome. I want one. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds fantastic. Um, I, over my career as a coach, have worked a lot with the concepts behind marketing and explaining a funnel on a whiteboard long before I got to any application. So when you are saying that you're doing funnels and you're specializing in a funnel as an engine, uh, is that to do with a particular software as a service? Is it your own product? I just want to get an idea of what you're doing there. Okay, so uh, the funnel is really a process, right? That, you know, you take the lead through to, you know, get someone to buy in the end. So, um, yes. and a lot of people end up complicating that. They, they build oh. out these massive funnels and it's exhausting and it like, it doesn't, it, it is jumping through the hoops on getting the lead to actually book a call with you and, you know, become your client. Okay. Exactly. So, so I just want to commend you on that. I run into digital marketers, email marketers, Facebook marketers, give them hundreds of names daily that want to peddle software and not the concept and the process. And Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. So it <laughs> is all about, yeah, it is all about simplifying the process. Um, and one of the things I always say, you're only one funnel away from a six figure or seven figure uh, uh, business, you know? So if you focus on that one funnel and monitor the numbers and monitor how it ties in together and very sometimes um, actually you might even have to skip one of the, uh, um, steps yeah. like you realize that one step is not working just remove it you know and yeah. go with what is working you know but a lot of people okay. don't do that so um basically i coach people on how to develop well first of all i i need to back up i think even bigger problem is when people get into the uh internet marketing they want to target everybody like they want the whole world i'm going to go worldwide you know i know yes <laughs> which, i know which is all good in terms of like yes you can have that reach but it's gonna cost you a pretty penny to get there as well um and you don't want that you want a, a very targeted audience for who you want to work with and once you know who they are and i mean you go down to like defining their eye color like you know, really <laughs> exactly so when, once you can narrow that down uh the whole messaging the whole funnel the copy and everything else the training that you provide everything kind of falls into place right um now the second thing is um so the way i show people how to do this is a lot of training on marketing developing the mindset, a lot of training on understanding the audience, which is the key, right? And then once they have all of that, it's pretty much they have a done for you website that is a funnel built for them. Uh, with, uh, so it is a built funnel, they have to input their own content, uh, but yeah. all the pages are already designed. So they just input the, uh, you know, copy because every business is slightly different, right? Yes. Uh, so like, 
what is the process? How you take someone from you know a free offer into a paid offer? How you do do these trip buyer offers as well to get people uh, uh, to you know get to know you and they are they serve as a purpose to build a relationship quickly, right? Um, so those are the things basically that that I teach on. Okay, yeah. Um, one of my mentors uh, evaluated online in an interview. Uh, a big sales success I had in a single day <laughs> and he wasn't happy that what I used was a tripwire to get everybody in so <laughs> I'm glad you used the term but okay let me get us back on track please sorry you were going to say something no no go ahead go ahead I I tend to just like talk and talk so yeah keep me <laughs> no it's uh, that's what you hear I want to hear everything about you and how you do it um, obviously, as coaches, we've done a lot and we're out there doing a lot. And on the program that we were together, what happens is you just focus and you do your thing. And I feel that we don't get to rub shoulders with each other. We don't uh, talk a little. We don't interact. And that's why I've set up a schedule to interview people that I think are rock stars like you are. So <laughs> let, me, let me hop into... Um, what is the number one thing that you think that coaches should focus on when they starting to go more and more online or want to just grow their business online? So based on everything that I have seen so far, um, people have the biggest issue focusing on one offer. They want to have multiple. And um, so you, you should have one offer in mind that is your core offer. So what is that core offer that you want everybody to get to eventually, right? So once you develop that core offer, then build out a funnel around it. So build out what is the free, what is the tripwire and how you get people into it. So what is the marketing that you do to do that? Um, I've uh, marketed many years online and I've made my own mistakes along the way. I think everybody does. Um, so, uh, having that core offer and then putting everything around it to like all the roads should uh, lead to Rome. That's one of the things that Matt Bass basic said, and he is uh, one of the top internet marketers. And, uh, you know, he was so right. Everything that you do, email marketing campaigns, uh, all the uh, strategies on marketing, paid ads, free uh, organic marketing, whatever you do, funnel these people into that one core offer. And then you have a business, then you have a proper business. Oh, I love that. Thank you very much. That's putting it over very successfully. Uh, so can I talk about uh, coaches approaching you? What would it cost them to invest in you uh, coaching other coaches? Yeah. So that really depends on where the person is, actually. So um, it can be anywhere from a thousand and a half dollars to five thousand uh, dollars. The reason why is there are some people who have the product ready, some people don't have the product ready, depending how much uh, uh, of like what is their journey and what the path they need to be on. So um, before I would even uh, uh, work with someone, I really like to get on a call and find out where they are. Uh, with your business, ask them uh, the questions to see if you're a good fit, because not everybody is a good fit uh, to work with me. I really want action takers. I want people who are focused and who know what where they want to go. So those are the things I pre-qualify on before they join my program. And once they do, you know, we get on the journey and uh, we work together uh, as a group two times a week, plus there is a, a whole program and I have uh, two team members as well to help out with anything that they might need. Okay, so let me ask you, is that a, a program for anywhere between one and a half and five thousand or is that, uh, okay, so it's a program that costs that yeah, much. Okay. It is, yeah. Um, awesome, it's a, it's a nice price bracket and I mean, I know that any coach that starts investing in him at that level can only win because it, it does I really, it makes a big difference in getting you along in this way. Let me ask you, um, you yourself, what do you do to get high quality leads for your own program? So I have a couple things in place right now um, and I'm actually adding two more. Um, so, and that is 
a, a lot on what I actually teach and show people how to do inside of the program as well. Um, so one is organic marketing through Facebook. Uh, the second one is uh, doing um, interviews and uh, like organic marketing through uh, YouTube as well. Uh, with kind of interview type of, uh, of videos that I, um, you know, people know me, they often want to interview me. So it is kind of a free exposure. I'm building an email list as well, which is a, a key element to uh, any coach. Um, if you want to grow your business, you have to build an email list. Um, so utilizing the email list, uh, getting people inside of my group as well on Facebook and using that to build an email list. Um, affiliate program and uh, two type of ads, uh, retargeting on Facebook and uh, Google, plus driving leads through YouTube ads. So okay, got so what did I count? There's about seven or eight tactical yeah. marketing strategies all rolling into one? Yeah, so um, the, the way I uh, structured it is uh, you, uh, you see, for people to um, work with you they need to see you as someone who knows what they're doing right so that's number one thing um the so you kind of need to show your face and facebook tends to be ideal for me to you know get that off the ground there um and once people know you that's kind of a starting point you research your audience there and you do all that once you know a lot about your audience what they respond to then you start moving toward the paid advertising okay Okay, so so that is why you're saying let's rather do organic before we start paying. Because I have customers that's approaching me day in and day out. And like, listen, I don't have time for coaching, but will you help me with my marketing? Where did you pay for your ads? And if I say organic marketing, I get so many kickbacks. It's a heavily misunderstood topic. It is. It is. Um, uh, well, you have to look at organic marketing uh, two ways. Uh, first of all, um, as we already said, it is great to test out. Second of all, all your clients that you want to attract, they're already on Facebook. Like there's 99% chance they are. You just need to find a way to actually find them, you know, and I actually, uh, I don't know if I should spoil this now, but there's going to be a free <laughs> gift for people that explains to them how to actually do that. I'm just going to keep it till the end. <laughs> okay. Okay. We keep that nugget till the end. Yeah. So um, you, you answered me. I had a question about paid advertising. You answered me that you do. And then um, let me ask you specifically, what is your secret to making your paid ads work effectively for you? Okay. Now, once you know the audience and what they respond to, then you can easily put out the message out there on uh, uh, advertising. Now, it's really important to um, test multiple com campaigns at once. They, you don't have to have a huge budget, but at least $25, $30 you know, a day to start with that. Um, and then you, you need to see, like, where are you placing your ads? where which audience is re responding so if you're placing your ads on different youtube channels different videos you want to know what these people like you want to know the background you know um so that is uh, important and then just getting them into your initial funnel that you set up uh, uh, for them to sign up and you know work with you um the there is a lot of uh, um trust building that you have to do in your marketing. So it's not like you're gonna put it up in any page and expect it to like instantly work for you, but they get into your autoresponder, you know, you're building the uh, reputation with them and, uh, you know, kind of like and trust factor. And then you can eventually, you know, get them to uh, book a call with you and talk with you. Now that is where uh, uh, Facebook actually and that testing that we talked about also comes in place because Facebook, like people follow you and they like you and trust you and they, because of like, they're gonna research you before they spend like three or 5K, right? So you wanna make sure that you have all that authority built out before they get on the call with you. It helps you actually massively. <laughs> it does, it's, it's the one leads to the other. So when when you say, organic marketing even that is organic but at the right time you have to build yourself up to that it doesn't help you do it 
uh, and get empty followers or, or likes or whatever because of a campaign and mm -hmm. don't know what to do with them. Yeah. Okay, I just want to, sorry to interrupt you again. I'm so eager to ask you questions. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Um, I just want to tell the, the crowd right now, I see there's quite a few people already live on Facebook. I'll shout out to some of you now. Thank you very much for being here. But if you have questions that you want uh, Ivana to answer before we go off the air, I will let you know uh, what and how we can handle it if you put it in in time. So please, if you have questions, type it in the chat in, in the video as it's playing now, and I'll share it with Ivana. Um, <clears throat> what I want to tell them also, Ivana, is I want you to realize that the person sitting in front of you is somebody who has sold millions of dollars in online programs, courses, tools, and services. And with that in mind, right, you've got an opportunity now to ask questions. And I'm going to ask my question about that is, Ivana, what is one piece of advice after everything you've done as a nugget that you can leave for people that you would give someone based on your experience? Okay, so uh, it would be sit down with yourself, like sit down with yourself, not anybody else, like yourself. Meditate for like 10 minutes, clear out your head, take out a piece of paper. <laughs> I know this is going to be a strange one, but seriously, take out a piece of paper and write out everything that you like to do, write out what type of business you want to build, write out what kind of legacy you want to leave um, and then think about what type of business you want to build around it. So once you know what type of business you want to build around it, uh, your next step would be to hire a mentor who can help you get there. I'm so writing. I'm writing down <laughs> awesome, awesome. No, I'm no, glad you like the answer. <laughs> That, that is really, really impactful. I really appreciate it. Let me see if we've got questions coming from you right there. What I want to um, tell people, if you want to get hold of Ivana uh, and you're in my circle of influence, you're very welcome to contact me directly. And um, what I'll also do is I'll, uh, is it okay if I share the link with him, Ivana? Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, so I've got a link for Ivana's uh, programs. I'm going to put a link in the Facebook page yeah, there uh, is, on, the, on the Facebook yeah. live. Just wanted to interrupt a little bit. So the, that is a, a free offer. It is a free training actually to help you get started with attracting the ideal clients to you. If you have a coaching practice, it would actually work if you're a consultant as well, if you provide services uh, for other people. But my, obviously my training is targeted for coaches and it is a very simple method to get started with and obviously doesn't cost you anything. And if you do it for about 30 minutes every day, I guarantee that every day you're gonna get new leads coming in. So um, very simple uh, to make it work. And it is free, it doesn't cost you anything to join. That is a special. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. So I wanna uh, give you a compliment as well. I am part of our resident association where I live. Mm -hmm. And one of my committee members just posted, I tuned in by accident, saw you in the interview with Ivana, and I just learned something I want the whole committee to do. So, Okay, awesome, awesome. So, so happy to hear that. She's going to put it out. So just want to shout out, we had Azra here. We had Dano here. We had Hendrik, Stefano, uh, Mariam, John, Helen. And Hi, everyone. <laughs> all of them out here. A lot of names that we know out there. Thank you very much for joining us. And um, that was awesome. It was a very impactful 20 minutes. Uh, I put an hour aside because I didn't know how much we we're going to talk. So. Oh, I can go is. on for, for, for a long time. But I think I've given them enough to like know how to focus and get started with it. Uh, there are so many people who have loads of experience and knowledge and uh, what I've noticed, they come into this online marketing world and they think they need to develop something new, some powerful tool, 
like you can turn what you already know into a coaching program and you know help the world and that is actually the reason I've you know decided to build a, a really successful coaching business uh, because I get to impact coaches and coaches get to impact you know more of their clients so there is this positive vibe spreading all around and you know that is the goal awesome thank you very much I'm going to stop the live stream. Bye-bye, guys. Thank uh, you. See you later. Bye.